Hi guys. Today we'll be giving you a short and simple introduction as to what exactly globalization is. It is super relevant to the world today and we are definitely a part of it. We'll be an even bigger part of it when we graduate and start our careers. So let's start. The term globalization comes from globe. No way. Shush. And it means the worldwide coming together of countries and nations. Advances in technology such as mobile phones, aeroplanes, telephones and the internet have made the growth of transport and communication networks possible amongst other things. This means that people and countries can exchange information and goods more quickly and in a less complicated way. Let's look at an example. Say two companies manufacture products in their home countries. They are in direct competition with each other, but both companies pay the same salaries and production costs. They have the same customers, use similar suppliers, and sell product at similar prices. In short, the same conditions apply to both companies. So far, so good. Trust me, it took me a while, but I'm pretty clear on it now, eh? What a miracle. Lei Hu Sing Ah. However, Due to technical, cultural, and economic developments that have come about through globalization, other companies which manufacture product under different conditions can now offer their products in that country. That's why a company from another country can sell the product there at a lower price because they were produced for less. Their local firms have to react to withstand the competition. And so the world grows closer together and there is an active exchange of goods between countries, more affordable products are available for more people. Not only does an exchange of products and economic goods take place, but also of services, knowledge, cultural goods and even languages. All of these individual elements are closely linked and influence each other. But where there is light, there is also a crippling electricity bill darkness because of globalization and this intense exchange of goods people and the environment often suffer if a company decides to move production to an economically disadvantaged country people in industrialized countries lose their jobs at the same time Job opportunities open up to many locals in the economically disadvantaged country. Many people in these countries work for very little money. In comparison to those in industrialized countries. Therefore, they often remain poor, and more often they do not have sufficient insurance, social insurance or health insurance cover. A further disadvantage of globalization is ecological problems such as climate change, the use of airplanes, ships and lorries to transport goods over international borders is constantly on the increase. This causes more carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere, which in turn is the main cause of global warming. Even national environmental standards are ignored. This is a further cost factor in the worldwide international sites competition, which should be kept as low as possible to be attractive for a company. There are, therefore, many sides to globalization which affect almost all aspects of life. You know, this is causing me to think that globalization ain't so good after all. But the advantages ain't so bad either, you know? I guess the chain of positive and negative effects will continue to grow further. True. What's important is to realize that globalization itself is neither good nor bad. Just like the canteen. It just depends how people deal with all the new possibilities in the future. So as the future of such a financial hub and key point of globalization, we have an especially important responsibility to uphold. And to know about it is the first step to the goal. So check out our next video specifically on Hong Kong's role in globalization so you can be a part of the change we need. So that's all for now. Bye.